In this presentation we're going to look at asymptotes. This is part of curve sketching and we have a function here f of x and what we might be interested in is the vertical asymptotes or the horizontal asymptotes. Also actually that's just what I'm going to sort of concentrate on for the short term but also actually there are such a thing as diagonal asymptotes. But in the first instance, what I'm going to do first off is look at vertical asymptotes. So I have, have my function here, f of x, okay, and I have my numer and it's let's suppose it is comprised of two parts, two sort of subfunctions, a, a numerator and a denominator h of x being the numerator, g of x being the denominator, what I do is I, to find the horizontal asymptote of f of x, what I do here is I let g of x, which is the denominator, equal to zero and solve for x. So let's have a look at that. Here's a first example here. Uh, very uh, y equals uh, 1 over x minus 2 plus 4. What I'm going to do there is let that equal, well, f of x essentially is that. But what I'm going to do first off is re-express this as 1 over x minus 2 plus 4x minus 8 over, two, uh, over x, minus uh, x minus 2. I'm going to use this as sort of example here later on. Uh, for this part is actually straightforward enough. It, the answer works out to be 4x minus 7 over x minus 2. The numerator part here is 4x minus 7 and the denominator here is uh, x minus 2. So what we're going to do here to find the vertical asymptote is that x minus 2 equal to 0. That is to say x is equal to 2. Okay. So far so good. Uh, this next example actually is a bit more trickier and also it's actually quite a good example for to de demonstrate what a vertical asymptote is really about, this particular example here. So f of x here is x squared plus 4 over x squared minus 4. Again, numerator, is it, sorry, denominator, x squared minus 4, that, let that equal to 0. So what we have here is x squared equal to 4. Now, in this instance, what we can do is let x equal to 2, but also x equal minus 2, okay? So we have two uh, asymptotes here. So this is uh, interesting. So I actually have this uh, drawn out. There we have it there. And these are the vertical asymptotes here in green, but I'll shade them in here a bit. This is the x, minus, x equal to minus 2. and this is the x equal to plus 2 and the function uh, is there actually given in red and the idea is that um, th there's also the matter of the horizontal asymptotes which I'll come back to shortly but the idea is that it will gradually uh, going from uh, it will gradually approach um, it will get closer and closer uh, to the asymptote but never actually touch it uh, in the general direction that it's going. So if I'm going down here as I go down here closer it gets closer and closer and closer and closer to the asymptote uh, uh, but it never will actually touch it. Okay. Now there's also the matter of a horizontal asymptote missing from that but it's just the general gist of what vertical asymptotes are about. Here's another one x 4x plus 3 over 2 okay so what's the denominator here? 2. 2 equal to 0. Hang on. What? Let's go back here a second. What did I do wrong here? So let's just go back here and I'll point this part out again. That the denominator, g of x, has to be a function of x. Okay. So what we had here, there we are again, this is the denominator. It's not a function of x. So this doesn't work. In this case, what we could do here is actually just as easily write this expression here as 2x plus 1.5. Okay, no denominator. Okay, and furthermore, what does that mean actually? Where does that leave us? Vertical asymptote doesn't exist. 
there does not necessarily have to be a vertical asymptote or there does not necessarily have to be a horizontal asymptote in fact you might have one but not the other you might have neither you might have both okay so in this case it doesn't exist so oh well a, a, a horizontal asymptote coming to infinity or something like that and then something that's not useful here uh, let's just finish up on a nice easy one uh, so here numerator it, it, uh, denominator is x minus 3 so let x minus 3 equal to 0 x is equal to 3 so that's a nice easy one to finish up on so uh, that's the vertical uh, asymptotes now we'll do the horizontal asymptotes in a minute